Bluetooth speakers. I feel like everyone has one of these. They're great because they're, they're wireless. You can put one there. You can play music from it miles away. I'm not going to go into detail about what Bluetooth is. Bluetooth speakers are mostly made by brands that you usually buy them by, ban by brands you trust. Like Bose, for say example. This here is the Bose Soundlink Colour 2, as it says on the bottom. Uh, this thing I've had now for about a year and it sounds really good. I really like it. So that's a, my, my Bluetooth speaker. And then I also have this Bluetooth speaker. This is an Anchor speaker. Anchor's a company you can trust because they make good power banks. They make speakers as well. This sounds pretty good. It's heavy. I tell because they're heavy. Good speakers inside. Even by JBL. This is a pair of JBL headphones. Live VT500+. Plus. Here you go. Here are some JBL headphones. And these sound pretty good. There's a lot of bass. A very proper review coming up on these soon, so yeah. So there you go. There's a another pair of really good Bluetooth headphones. Bluetooth speakers. So when another brand you trust, links. I don't know if these exist in America, but in Britain loads of people well, I've got full of my camera. <laughs> Most people probably know what this is. It's the Ocean. Links with the Ocean. So when they came out with the Bluetooth speaker, the X, I had to get it. Well, I didn't get it. It came with something. It came with a set. It came with the Ocean's some soaps. <sighs> so I thought, why not do a review on this? I can tell them to be packaged very well. So we're going to see how good or how bad the quality is for this speaker and they're like sort of for this speaker you can hear me so let's pack it open we will use our multi-tool i'm spinning our multi-tool pen for this and if you're wondering how are you going to use a multi-tool pen well if i take off the end screwdriver flathead and phillips i can use a flathead to slide through that cellar to tape whenever it is as soon as we open the box for this thing, we can already tell that it's the same size as the Google Nest. Oh, here it is. It's it's very, very light, and it's like if you guys could feel this compared to this very heavy and here is an Amazon Echo very similar size very similar shape very same height I'll go get us a Google Home and here's the Google Home it's very similar shape to this this is very heavy this is heavier lighter same design too rubber on the bottom circular so I don't this might sound incredibly good this might sound better than my Bose my JBL, my Anchor, even these two speakers sound pretty good. So we'll put, our, we'll put all of these speakers over to the over to the side. Google, Echo, and Links. So firstly, what else comes in the box? Well, an instruction manual, uh, a clip because it's a portable speaker, I guess. I'll put that on and. Right at the bottom, there's a special box with a USB cable underneath. Uh, just a hidden USB cable, which isn't even tied up. Just a USB cable! USB-C cable, which... Not USB-C, micro USB cable. Which is just perfectly what I need another one of. I've told you, I totally can't see one right now. I can. Off. Off camera. There's literally a USB-C cable there. So yeah, <clears throat> these become with mostly every product you get these days. Even this is USB-C. This is USB-C. This is USB-C. They're not USB-C. They're completely different. The first model Google Home is USB-C. So I guess it did. So <clears throat> trusty, dusty USB. So we're gonna plug it in. See what it does. 
again. A little flap at the back. There's a light on the back. So we'll leave that to charge whilst we have a look of all this. So I'll put this little clippy clippy on. I'll put it on. Try to put it on, on camera, but I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, I don't think that's coming on on camera. I don't think that's coming on. Oh, you guys can't even see it. There we go. Let's do it. We'll clip it on. This thing could sound incredible. I just don't know of it yet. You can clip it onto things now, I guess. Uh, instruction manual. Far too small. Right, I think it's time to unplug it and we switch it on and we pair it up to our trusty dusty iPad. I'm gonna have to find us some we're not gonna get in trouble music. <laughs> I'm not really wanting to get in trouble. So I found some cheap NCS songs. So the thing is, it has no auxiliary. It has no aux. Like it literally has no aux. Even my phone comes with an aux cable. Don't ask what I've done to this thing. I've got aux cords everywhere. And it just, it's very slippy. It's very. It's very, very glossy compared. It's very feels nice to hold. Right, so let's switch the thing on. Maybe you have to hold it. Okay. Right, it goes a little bit at me now. Let's try and connect, pair it up to my iPad. Refresh Bluetooth. Okay, now it's going nuts. Pear. 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 Connect, you big flumping flobbles. Refresh. Fine, I'll bring out the old boy. The old boy will have to try to Bluetooth up to it. Find your magic! Both devices. Even the... Very, very sticky. This iPod is very sticky. It's connected! Let's play some songs and see how it sounds. When it's quiet, and I'm far away from it, it sounds good. Cranking up the volume, full volume, and it's not the loudest. Here, let's put the microphone near it. There you go. Right, so this, this, not the volume buttons, no, these change songs. So what am I going to say? It doesn't sound, it doesn't sound very good. It's a good little design, I like how it is, but... It's not very loud in my bedroom, which, well in the bedroom studio, I only got, but it just, Pretty big. It's pretty big, but because <clears throat> I can echo, I echo when I speak in here. But like when I, I suppose it's outside, it doesn't sound very good. So we are going to do. We are going to compare it to this now. So you have to connect this every annoying time. So that's that. I'll probably put a copy in how this sounds now. So this is how this sounds. Easy to switch on. Toby's iPhone SE. And so
Toby's iPad. That's correct. Connected to Toby's iPad. Then he has to play a song. It's a lot louder. This isn't even on full volume yet. A lot more bass, you've got your subwoofer, and then you speak up the front. A lot more bass, crank it up louder. There's a lot of bass, a lot more bass. I'll put the, I won't put the mic too close to it, because I don't want to deafen y'all. So then you go back just shows how good this is compared to this. Now, shut up. It's a lot heavier. I've got no hate towards Link for making this. They make some good smelling. Oh. <coughs> they make some good smelling deodorants. Like like Africa. Africa's one of my favourites. Smells incredible. But some companies just should not make Bluetooth speakers. They should just stick to what they're good at. Links. They're good at making good smelling aftershaves and deodorants. <coughs> PlayStation make headsets. This isn't a PlayStation headset. This is just a random headset. But PlayStation, Sony, they make really good speakers. Sony interpret good speakers into PlayStations. There we go. Even Lego, I think, once made a Bluetooth speaker. Now, that probably was a disaster. Companies just, just should just stick to what they're good at. Not make Bluetooth speakers, which come free. With things. As, for, for, as far as... Clip... No. And as far as clipability goes, I can... Never mind. <laughs> I can I can try, I can clip it to camera. There you go. I've got it clipped to the camera now. Just take it off. There you go. So it's it's a portable speaker. If it gets robbed, you're not going to be upset. I've got to wait towards links, like I said. But hmm. Oh no. No, it's time to right. I want to try and open it up, but I don't want to wreck it. On that note, but it's time to end. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one, where we'll be doing a review of something even better, better than this. Well, it will be a better product than this. Mm. Uh, stay tuned for more headphone comparisons. Bye for watching. Peace.